welcome back after the break. We are all at SM Shetty College and we are uh, sitting in the canteen right now. Our topic is if social media is a boon or bane. Uh, so according to me, social media is a boon because um, our generation today, if we go to see, we are not a very newspaper reading generation. We don't watch news, we don't follow Arnab Goswami here and there. But um, when, we, when, it, when we talk about Facebook, when we talk about uh, Instagram and various other social medias, we are up to date because we have these apps, we are constantly checking them, we, are, you know, we have a lot of news and uh, we get these bits and pieces of news here and there on uh, Facebook. So uh, for me, social media is a big time boon. Even I agree with Natasha, it is, uh, social media is a boon for us, right? Because half of our works are done, done over there. All the college activities, there's a WhatsApp group for every, every media, every event what, which takes place, uh, there's a WhatsApp group in it and every event updates are given over there. I agree with her, totally I agree with her. Uh, what I feel is, social media has created a fake world. Even when you're with your friends, okay, when I go meet my best friend after so long, we talk for five minutes and then I'm busy with my phone and she's busy with her phone. Even when we're sitting next to each other, I'm putting something on Snapchat and she's checking her Instagram. So this is, you know, just killing the real world. I go back home, instead of sitting with my parents, I go and check my WhatsApp, okay? I have to text my friends. My mom is like, Pura din, you stay in college with your friends, okay? You go for classes, you're with your friends. Come home and give some time to us, but this phone, this social media has become a time killer. It is not only about talking about social media, it is about technology, right? The mobile is the main reason for that. I think we should keep our mobile phone aside. It is not because of social media that you're involving. I would like to say that it's not the mobile or something. Uh, the thing is, social media is a platform to express yourself, not only for uh, knowledge of one, like as you see, uh, when you are on Twitter or when you need something, you go on Wikipedia and you can Google it. So the thing is, social media provides us our ans uh, answers to our questions and it is also a pl uh, platform to speak up. But people take it in a wrong way. So if you see, if something comes into picture on social media, People don't think anything, they just start doing it. Like for example, that ice ice bucket challenge, that was done because there was some, uh, uh, what do you say, childism uh, one syndrome for which you have to be cooled down. That's the reason they were doing it. But just because it was on social media, major of the crowd was doing it, they didn't even knew what was that. So that is the reason like people don't know what is it. Just because it is on social media and it looks cool, people try to do that. But then, uh, social media is basically a ba uh, I mean, it's basically uh, like a boon for us because social media is such a platform which has got everyone together and it gives an opportunity to interact with all the people. Like, there's no, you can interact with all the nationality. Like, you know, you are an Indian, so you can interact with an Australian or with an American. So it gives them, so communication has become very easy for us. So, yeah. um, just one second. So, I am under the opinion that uh, social mania is both the ways, like it's a boon and a bane. In today's generation, in today's generation where you see there are people who use net for the good cause and there are people who do not use the net for the good cause. Because we have seen many cases where internet has been the prime, prime uh, suspect or the prime aspect because of which a person's life is being sabotaged. If you see today's memes, or you see those comments, or you see anything of that, any post, it would be targeted to one person and one person alone. So that can just make your life or break your life. So in that way, and plus, as Jajjo pointed earlier, she said that we do not spend time with our family. So I feel the sole cause of that is not just the social media, it's the entire technology as a whole. The phones and the net together when they came, it just made us like in a cocoon and we are in that one bubble because we do not want to get out of that place we just we just get the comfort zone and we be in that nor do we speak to our families while demonetization demonetization uh, not i'm not a like supporter of bjp or narendra modi but it was a great step but people were not aware of it uh, like you see as you said social media Facebook pe har koi hai. In village, even if you go to a village, native places, uh, people, they won't know to write in English, but they have an account on uh, Facebook. 
so everybody is there on social media and when people certain people who convey certain wrong messages uh, the ones who don't have any source or media to get any information uh, they feel that what is on the social media is correct and which uh, builds a wrong point of view in major of the people uh, which leads to certain wrong decisions social media has no doubt made the world smaller okay so uh, my aunt just got married okay she she stays in australia but as a lagta hi nahi that she stays abroad because the entire time my uh, my grandmother she is on viber with her okay so we we know what is happening we know what she had in you know her lunch what she had in breakfast so the world has become really small if there's a person who you know uh, my old school friend your we friends in kg but now because of facebook we are connected so this has made the world really small but on the other hand we also have cyber crimes which are coming up okay so this recent case the dangal fame uh, her name was what was the name uh, dangal girl zaira zaira right sorry yeah so zaira khan okay such an amazing actor 16 year old girl but the way she got trolled on social media and she had to apologize so these are some of the drawbacks that social media has for no reason so you know if you use it effectively to connect to people it is good but on the other hand uh, people create fake ids yes. you know and uh, if a girl gets to know that her boyfriend is on some with someone else at a party they break up and you know there's a lot of psychological uh, impact on it this social media has made it you know we have to be makeup ready we have to look good all the time otherwise everyone will click a random picture of us and you know we will feel so awkward socially awkward okay and the other thing that's come up is makeup plus i guess most of the girls must have that if you're not makeup ready you take a selfie you have to post it because you have to be socially alive so you take a selfie but no you have to edit it so you go to thousand filters you apply lipstick you try all shades of lipstick all shades of mascara and then finally you have a fake makeup picture ready so you know you are changing yourself you're not being who you are social media has this one really major drawback exactly like just do said in today's world it's like it's not how you feel about yourself it's how others see you and how others feel about you there was a time when people used to not worry about what they are wearing what they are eating what they are doing now today today right right now also we'll be knowing what the other person right around the corner is doing or what he is eating or where he is going and it's like that is the major cause how your day goes the entire day if you are doing something that has to be posted if it's not posted your day or your life is not lively that's how we think these days there are many good points on social media but today's generation is totally dependent on social media they sleep by not taking pillow they sleep by taking lappy on their phone it it affects their health if health is not there then nothing is there so it's that that we should not always and social media they also not give only good news it's also post as bad images and it's human nature that we go to bad things at faster than good things so it affects our mentality also it changes totally our mentality so i would like to conclude that if rather just uh, making your life better on social media just make memories which you can remember yourself and rather people remembering it by your post and by your snapchat and something like that enjoy your life and not only just on social media but with your friends like we are sitting and discussing it would not be that interesting if you we would do it on whatsapp so it's like social media is a boon but if you know at what extent you should use it it would be great thank you